Hey guys. It's Kayla back again. I think it was last week FSU like put out their decisions. They were who is being admitted into the class of 2025. So if that was you, congratulations, go Knowles. Welcome to FSU. And I thought I'd make a video just kind of giving you my like a recap of the first semester at FSU because I feel like class of 2024 our first semester experience was a lot different than most because we had to start our college experience with online school and during a global pandemic so there were a lot of changes um to school life and it was a lot different than the traditional college experience so i just thought that i would share a little insight of how my first semester at fsu went so basically i'm going to start with classes so online classes i'm going to be honest online classes were definitely and well they weren't really an adjustment just because senior year like our last like semester was like all online classes so it was like kind of the same old the zoom it was just kind of hard to learn sometimes just because everything's like online so i felt like my learning experience was not as good as it could have been just because online there's a bit of a disconnect sometimes between like you and the professor and like your other um your other like classmates and like sometimes the professors didn't really know how to work zoom so there's like disruptions with that so we just kind of like missed out on a lot of like learning experiences if it had been like in person so my professor was saying how they usually like take their like students on like field trips we missed out on that this semester because of covid obviously so i just feel like in some aspects we kind of like missed out on a lot learning wise just because it was online and like online school is just hard in general i've kind of become a lazier student in some aspects just because we're not really getting that true experience of like being online like having to be 100 percent prepared all the time because like everything's online so everything's like very access or accessible like on the computer so it's just a little a little different i have become a little lazier as a student so i hope i'm trying this semester to like get back into it really like try on my classes i feel like a lot of times a lot of people are experiencing this where you're just kind of like just doing the assignment and turning it in and people aren't really learning at all because of the online setup so yeah i feel like i haven't really learned as much as i could have learned if like our classes were in person um also the work kind of seems to be a little non-stop sometimes like the professors just be like laying on the work like even though we're online it's like no mercy like we still get so much work like all the time and it's like oh my gosh so that was a bit of an adjustment like even though um for classes like in college we don't have like seven classes every day it's like two i think the most classes i had um a day last semester was like three classes it's like still just as much work as like high school if i'm being honest like even though we don't have as many classes we're taking it's like the workload is still like a pretty good amount so um definitely take advantage of your days with no classes or your days with like less classes and do your work because it's very easy to fall behind especially with like the online format it's very easy to fall behind so make sure to stay on top of your stuff be organized i am not the most organized student i got my work done but i'm not the most organized so i've definitely been trying to get better with that this semester get a journal um a planner and just like write down like all of your assignments for the day all you have to do for the day and like check off everything as you get it done just so you like have it down like what you have to do because it's very easy to forget something also the grading system for college is different than like the grading system for high school and high school is kind of just like if you get an a no matter if it's like an a minus a plus like an a is an a and like you keep a 4.0 here an a minus can actually bring down your gpa which is like why but like an a minus can bring in your gpa so i got all like a's like a pluses last semester so i had a four pro gpa but if you get an a minus in the class like it'll bring your gpa down to like a three point like 
nine, seven, or I don't really know how the grading scale works, but it brings your GPA down. So like, yeah. So which is like weird because it's like it's still an A. So why is my grade going down? But like, that's just how they they weigh stuff here. It's like it's weird. It's weird. Oh, books. I learned last semester you don't have to buy the books that your professors want you to buy all the time. It's like I like it was my first semester of college, so for my books that I was supposed to like buy, I literally bought like every book that was like assigned for each class and like that racked up. Like it was a pretty good amount of money. Like books, college textbooks are not cheap at all. They're very, very, very expensive. So, and I, like, bought, like, all of them. So, I spent, like, hundreds of dollars on books. And then we're, I'm taking the class, and it's, like, we're not even using the books. So, definitely wait to buy your books. Like, maybe, like, be in the class for a couple weeks and just, like, see if you're, like, using it a lot. And if you're not, then, like, don't buy the books. Like, if you have, to, like, try to find them online. A lot of times there's, like, websites where you can, like, find books, textbooks online for free try to do that make look for people like selling them like in like group chats um for like a cheaper price like just try not to buy new books try not to buy books in general like, if you don't need to buy a textbook don't buy it but like you don't even end up using the book and it's like you just wasted like a hundred dollars for nothing so just don't buy books right away just be in the class for a little bit and see if you actually need them and if you don't need them don't buy them because it's a waste of money to be honest my next section is making friends um for me coming into college i really really was nervous about making friends like especially because every all, all my classes were like online so i was like how am i gonna make friends it's gonna be like so hard making friends for me it actually wasn't that hard making friends a lot of people had different experiences where it was hard to make friends just because of the online situation but for me it was like it wasn't that bad utilize social media i found a lot of my friends through social media through group chats through instagram through facebook through just social media in general so definitely you see group chats being made for like fsu like class of 2025 join them you meet a lot of people through those start following people on instagram who are in your class fsu 2025 um i know that i met a lot of people there was like this one instagram page fsu class of like 2024 and they set it up so that like we would like send in like a profile of ourselves like we'd send in like our some of our pictures and then like a description of what we liked like oh, my name's Kayla I'm 19 years old I'm majoring in like criminology I like this this and that and then they'd like post your profile onto like, the Instagram page and people could like find you and like DM you and like start messaging you through there so how I made friends or a lot of my friends was that I literally would just like see their profile on like Instagram or like there's like a Facebook page and I would like message them and be like, hey, you seem like really cool, we should hang out. And like that first, like the first week of like moving in to like FSU, I was just like meeting people like every day. Like on Instagram, I'd be like, hey, let's hang out. And then like we'd hang out that next day. And like I met a lot of people that way, just through like group chats, reach out to people. Like it's scary to reach out to people, but it's worth it. Just be like, hey, like you seem really cool. And everyone is trying to make friends the first semester. So like, you're most likely not going to get turned down to hang out because everyone wants to, everyone's trying to make friends. So just like, you just got to take that first step. Message someone be like, hey, you seem like really cool. Like we should hang out sometime. Set a date, bang, hang out in your friends. Like it's really not too bad. You just have to take that first step, which is scary, but it's definitely worth it. And I feel like it's made me much more, um, it's made me much more outgoing because in high school, I was known as, like, very shy. I don't think people think I'm shy in college because I've made an effort to get out of my comfort zone and, like, be outgoing and be, like, hey, let's hang out. Like, I, I've tried really, like, hard to be more outgoing, and I feel like it's really helped me be, to become a more outgoing person and a more extroverted person. So definitely reach out to people because everyone wants to be – everyone's trying to make friends. Everyone is. So don't be scared. It's fine. Like, it's it's worth it not every friendship is going to last the first like friend group you end up in might not last and that's okay because um you know everyone's eager to make friends at first and then you might get to know each other and you seem like oh these people aren't really 
I don't really vibe with them or whatever. And then it's okay to move on and find other people to hang out with. Like, it's totally fine. Um, friends in college are different than, like, friends in high school. Like, there's not really cliques in college. Or, like, um, it's, there's not really any cliques when you're in college. Because FSU, for example, is, like, super big already. So, like, people don't know each other. It's not, like, a popular group or anything. So it's just, like making friends isn't too bad and like you can like move on from a friend group if you feel like you've outgrown a friend group or you don't really fit anymore it's okay to move on and find other friends that you feel like fit your personality better because you're gonna find people who fit your personality and who like are people you want to be friends with here because there's so many people to choose from so like it's okay if your first initial friend group at FSU doesn't last because you'll find other people like you definitely will find other people I would say that living on campus your first semester definitely helps in making friends it definitely because in my seeing other people who lived off campus I'm not saying everyone had this experience but I've seen a couple people who lived in apartments their first semester they had said that it was harder to make friends because they're not on campus so they're like in the apartment like by themselves or with roommates but like that's like all they're around whereas when you're on campus like you can just like walk outside and like see people from the school like outside like easier in my opinion to make friends on campus because if you live on campus just because you're on campus like you're literally on the school like you can there's students everywhere that you can meet i feel like it's easier i'm not saying it's impossible to make friends if you're living off campus like it's it's not you can still meet people again through social media hanging out and everything but it's like it's more convenient i guess if you live on campus like meeting people you can make friends like not it's a we're in a college town so here at fsu i mean in tallahassee there's fsu there's famu there's tcc so like i have friends from literally famu and TC, tcc as well like i have friends with people who like don't even go to school here they just like live here so like you can be friends from like all over definitely get involved in like school organizations um i was the equity and inclusion rep or i am the equity and inclusion rep for my dorm hall so i was able to meet like a lot of like cool people through being involved in that there's a lot of like organizations as well i'm in um big sister little sister which is like an organization for like black women they can like have like a big sister who's like a mentor to you so you're able to like meet like upperclassmen they're able to like give you advice and everything um there's like a bunch of organizations that you can join to meet new people now that covid restrictions aren't as strict here we're able to do a lot more like in-person events so we're able to like you're able to like meet people in person as well having fun at fsu i learned early on my first semester that COVID is not really a concern to a lot of people here at this school. You have to remember FSU is a party school. What people say about FSU is true. There's literally a party every day. Clubs are, there's like a club open every night. Like people here party, even with the pandemic. So even the, if you don't want to party, which is understandable, um, there's other stuff to do here as well. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit shocked at how small Tallahassee was. I don't know why I thought it'd be like a bigger city, just because like it's a college town and um, it's the capital of Florida. But there's really not a lot of like big attractions to do here. Like there's no like theme parks or anything like that. Like the city isn't that big or like it's just very small here. So. It may be hard initially to find stuff to do here. It's not like partying or going out, but like there is stuff to do. There's a lot of like really pretty parks around. There's like a roller skating rink. I know that I've been to a couple times. If you get involved in like campus life, there's like, you know, organizations you can like be a part of. Campus is beautiful. So there's always people like outside, just hanging out outside, enjoying the weather. There is stuff to do here that's not partying or going to the clubs. And if you have friends, like if you're with your friends, stuff is fun regardless of like where you're going or what you're doing so yeah just be aware that there are going to be people partying but you just have to be aware of that be cautious of that wear your mask sanitize because you don't know who has covid because if i'm being honest covid i know so many people who have gotten covid at the school so just be careful when you are going out and hanging out 
wear your mask, get tested. There is um, free testing at the school. There's rapid testing at FAM. You can go to that's free as well. So definitely if you're feeling sick, get tested because you don't want to spread the virus to people. So get tested, be responsible, definitely. I haven't gotten COVID. Thank goodness I'm not gotten COVID. But um, it's definitely easy to hear just because people are going out. So being a minority, being a black woman at FSU. I knew that FSU was a PWI or a predominantly white institution, but it was definitely a bit of a culture shock coming here and just seeing how white it was there are minorities here but like walking around campus you're definitely gonna like gonna notice who the majority of the population is there were multiple times for example i was in a class last semester um that was basically a class about like black liberation that was like one of the focuses of the class and it was taught by a white professor and i was the only black student in the class and i was just like confused why I was the only black student in a class about black liberation so you're definitely going if you're a POC you're going there's going to be probably some classes where you were the only POC in that class it's just how it is it's definitely not hard to find other POC friends again there's a lot of organizations for like black students uh Hispanic students like they're basically any um, ethnicity, race, there's like an organization that you can join to meet other people of that race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, religion, etc. There's like organizations for every group of people you can think of. So it's, it's not too hard to find other people who come from your like similar background. I remember I was in a bunch of like black FSU chats when I was here. So I met a lot of other like black students through those chats, like those group chats. So like, it's not hard to find other people of your skin color, of your race or whatever. So like, it's fine. Even though we're at a PWI, it's a pretty solid minority group that you can find other people who look like you if you want to meet other minorities. So yeah, some other things that I noticed my first semester, you don't need a car if you're debating on like bringing a car. Like a car is always helpful no matter where you go. I didn't have my car the first like three months I was here and I was fine to be honest I knew people who had cars so if I ever needed to like go to the grocery store I was able to ask for a ride there's a lot of like stores near campus so you don't really need cars often um it definitely is convenient if you do have a car but like it's not a necessity like you'll survive on campus without a car um there's a lot of like transportation there's like no cab I think it's called where like it's like Uber, but or like a cab for like no students, but it's like cheaper for us. Um, there's like a bus you can take that's free um, for like FSU students. So there's ways to get around without a car. You don't need one. It is helpful, of course, because like a car is helpful regardless, but it's not necessary. Also, parking at FSU is very difficult, especially for the parking lot or the parking garage is like on campus. It's like always packed so if you do have a car beware that parking is hard sometimes it's like hard to find parking definitely so just be aware of that if you bring a car it's going to be hard to find parking um and you don't need if you're debating like getting a meal plan you don't need a meal a meal plan um the cafeteria the dining hall food isn't the best it's like a hit or miss i don't have a meal plan so i'm not i don't usually eat at the dining hall because I don't, you can eat a dining hall without a meal plan. It's like $10 um, if you want to eat at a dining hall. I know a lot of people who I know who have meal plans don't make full use of it because they don't really like the dining hall food. You don't really need a meal plan. There's a lot of like restaurants on campus. Like there's, We have a Chick-fil-A. We have a Subway, an Einstein, Bros, Bagels, a Denny's, and then a Starbucks. So like... It's a pretty good op pretty good options you can like buy from um you can even again you can eat the meal plan you can eat the dining hall food without a meal plan just pay like the ten dollars um so yeah i don't have a meal plan i usually just like buy groceries and like i don't like cooking so i usually get like microwavable food or like noodles and like just eat that or um just eat at one of the restaurants on campus so yeah 
a lot of people I know don't have a meal plan and they're just fine. So that is like a recap of my first semester at FSU. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below and I will try to answer them. If y'all want any more like FSU related content videos, I can make those too. So like leave suggestions down below and I'll make sure to make them for you guys. Um, make sure to comment, like, subscribe and share with your friends if you want to and again congratulations to all of the new knows go knows go fsu i love this school i'm really happy that i chose this school i think if you guys choose to come to fsu you're gonna really enjoy your time it's a great school but um yeah thanks and i will see y'all later